Welcome to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, home to the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles, and fans have been eagerly anticipating this matchup at The Rock. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Gamecocks will put total leather and will get started. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Golden Eagles offense will take the first swing of the game. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Able to run it out to the 28 on the last when it's second and seven. They'll go to the ground. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up, sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. So Jacksonville State's offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking for a man. It's Turner. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. The offense sets up shop at the 46 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Now adjusting. Firing to the right, complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? But if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes. And you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. They'll try to dial up a better one this time on second and goal from the five. Working the middle, it's complete. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know. Just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. 
Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. So the offense will try to punch it in here on fourth and goal from the one. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. No hesitation from this head coach. He will go for it on fourth and goal from the one. Touchdown, Gamecocks! And they score first. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last trap. Oh, it's loose. And the defense jumps on it. They get that turnover. And a lot of ball handling goes on in the option, but after you pull it, you got to make sure you take care of it. Because you're going to be in the teeth of the defense, right, Reese? I mean, if you pull that football, you're still in the center of the field where all those big D linemen and linebackers are living, so you've got to be extra careful with your ball security. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And the pressure was all over him in the blink of an eye. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and that can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Get it out on the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, but the sweet blowing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Really nice job there at the quarterback. Reading coverage, he knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. The Gamecocks trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. to throw it's Turner going for six he snares it in the end zone touchdown Jacksonville State well this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters they score fast they don't need 10 plays to go down the field you saw it right there they've recruited well they've got playmakers they're going to be a problem for defenses all year long on the move from inside is five. Southern Mississippi has it back in the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Corners right up on that line of scrimmage. Running with power. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the Golden Eagles will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fields the punt and tries to work it the other way. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. 
So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Offense getting set for first down. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Fighting off the defender. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Back to throw, it's Turner. Unloads to the wideout. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw, incomplete. Well, on that last play, you'd like to see the quarterback be a little bit more accurate and give his guy a chance to make the play. That ball wasn't even close to his intended target's body. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Guys, Jacksonville State has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He wants to throw. Looking for the end zone. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Well, the game plan's been pretty simple offensively, right? They are taking shots, and they're being aggressive, throwing it down the field. This guy's already got two touchdown passes. We're still in the first half. And on that last one, he was looking for number three. Gets it to the back. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down, get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field? Fires deep toward the end zone. And that pass picked off. Got some room to run. Smashes through the tackle. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. The lead's not insurmountable, just down 14-0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little... Got a lot of running room. He's at the 10. And the defense couldn't come out him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed, look at the elusiveness, get into the end zone. Nice work. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And hey, Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to. He is smashing people. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. Wants to pass it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Second and ten here. To the air, it's Turner. Still looking on the move. What great protection, and he lets it go down the middle. 
man, this QB is so dangerous. He can get outside the pocket, and right here you can tell he gets outside the pocket. Now I gotta make some decisions, man. Do I, do I wanna go chase this guy? Do I play coverage? And that's why these mobile going up top. Oh, and he toasted coverage, got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing, Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Southern Mississippi has it back, and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays. Going for it all. And he bats it away, it falls incomplete. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, passing. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. They'll leave it with him. At the 35, he's open. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Now on the option. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Looking to pass. It's Rodemaker. Got his man on the right. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. When I see the defense in man coverage, I'm trying to get my fast guy versus their worst corner. Trying to get a great matchup on the outside take advantage of it to make big plays. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. The Golden Eagles line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He makes the catch at the 10. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. Bottle little time, lets it go. Makes the catch, it's Lacey. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Unleashes one deep. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's got his man there to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Snags it over the middle. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Set up for second and short after that completion. To the air, it's Turner. Pressure comes. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And the defense has it. They're going the other way. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Get in the sack, get in the fumble. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Caught in the backfield, it's Washington. At the 45 on his way. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Going up top on first down. And 
they got him for the sack. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Got it in the middle. It's Buckley. Right down the gut of the field. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Southern Miss. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half and get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. They've got time. They've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum. For the expressway is wide open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tacklers, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much... Nothing but green ahead. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. And the offensive line and the quarterback has to do their job on screens. They got to sell. Pass down the field, pass down the field. Offensive line releases. Quarterback now snaps his eyes to the running back. The running back does the rest with the big boys out in front creating a pass. Second down. And here comes the offense on second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. He'll pull it down. Nice run there. Picks up a few, and they'll force him out of bounds. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No more for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. And he fired a bullet in, but it's incomplete. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. He's got it. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing, an easy conversion for this offense. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They're working that left side. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Gamecocks. That touchdown gives this team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out and start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. And the offense will play it safe, take a knee, and head to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Man, we've been looking forward to this one all week. A fun start to things in Hattiesburg. And the Golden Eagles will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on up. They'll open the second half with a run. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. 
Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Hands it off. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the option. And he didn't get the pitch off, and he paid the price. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Now the toss. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's running in the open. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. Well, as a defense, you know this is going to be a challenge every time you face this offense. They're one of the 25 best in the nation at getting first downs because they can pick them up in a variety. Intercepted. Taking it the other way. He's at the 40. Obliterates him. Still on the move. And on the opening drive of the second half, he made adjustments, but sometimes you underestimate the fact that the defense is ready for your adjustments. And they've made their own adjustments as well, and they're allowed to sit there in the locker room and think and wonder about how you're going to attack them coming out of the tunnel. Great job being ready to go at the start of the second half by the defense. The Golden Eagles will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi! Now, we'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call? And the officials agree it'll go his way. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. Touchdown, Southern Miss. And the comeback is on. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. Well, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next one. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. And now on second down for this offense. Give to the running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard. And he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. <laughs> it's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. He'll just keep slinging it. Pocket starts to collapse. Back open in the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. 
And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Or are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. He just threw it away. The last thing you want to do is try to force something on first down in the red zone. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. They get him on the ground in the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Scanning the field, it's Turner. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. They'll try to salvage the a field goal on this drive. And this ought to be a chip shot from about 20 yards out. Splits the uprights. It's good. And now the lead is even bigger. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it out. It's Buckley. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stop follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. They keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. Third down play from the gun. Fires to the big fella. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And the Golden Eagles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. Powers through the defender. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Looking to throw, it's Rodemaker. And that ball is picked off. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Trying play action. Quarterback extends the play. Takes a hit as he fires. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll run the option. The pitch. At the 45 on his way. Running toward the tape. 
And he caught that pitch in stride and was off to the races. A big gain and a first down for this offense. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the Rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks! <laughs> They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. If this dude were a kitchen knife, he would be slicing the tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Alabama was able to come away with the victory, but it was not the type of dominant win we've seen over the years. Roll Tide, sure, but this one lacked any real style points. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough. And we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. The offense lining up for a first down play. Dropping back. It's Rodemaker. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. It's really hard to win football games when you're one-dimensional offensively, and that's the case. They just have not been able to get anything going, throwing it deep down the field. They haven't won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Quarterback has missed some throws, and as a result, in the fourth quarter, they barely have 100 yards passing, and that's why they're losing. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. A new set of downs after the completion. Looking to throw it again. Quickly complete. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. The Golden Eagles come to the line in the hurry up. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Now facing a third and long. Third and coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Got his man! They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And the Golden Eagles are moving quickly down the field. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. The Golden Eagles will have it first and ten. Used to play fake. Now to throw. He makes a catch. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. He's going to pass. There, he'll take a shot. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Mississippi. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. You still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on home. And as we get later in this game, Jesse, you want to keep moving the ball and being aggressive, but don't turn the thing over. 
So how about getting the running game going right here, David, on this drive? Let those big fellas up front get some push, bleed the clock, move the chains. Yeah, no need to get greedy. I know the passing stats and you want to score, but you're right. The clock right now is your friend with a two-possession lead. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Even if they don't confirm, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. On his feet at the 40. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. With that, the lead nice and comfortable, and they're cruising toward a 4-0 start. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they... Love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Southern Mississippi has it back in the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. Dropping back, it's Rodemaker. And they can't make the play on third down. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception. And oh, and he can't hold the pitch, and the ball's loose. And they are fortunate to avoid the turnover as the fumble goes out of bounds. They thought they had a good plan, but it did not work. Here comes the offense on first down. Use the play fake now to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Let's it fly. It's caught. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And the route is on. Things a little more comfortable after that score and much, much closer to a win here in Week 5. With that last touchdown, they remain undefeated. And what can you say about this offense? One of the most explosive in the entire nation. And they're coming in, I think, every week with the mindset that we're just going to outscore everybody. We are okay going into a track meet. And that's really what we saw in this game today. But the opponents just cannot keep pace with them and all of the athletes they have on the offensive side of the ball. Southern Mississippi, 28. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joe's, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it. Forget it. Move on for the next game. Maybe something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. Looking downfield, it's Rodemaker. A 
unloads it left. Makes the grab. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hip stick laid on his noggin. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. And the Golden Eagles have it with a first and 10. Used to play fake. Now to throw. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. you got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.